Today I'm going to try going to Mudan. An. This is the former villa of Yamagata Aritomo, who um, is one of the architects of the modern or pre modern Japanese military. Not pre modern, mid 20th century Japanese military. This place is located near the what's now the International Community House and also near the zoo. So you can see down this path is the zoo and uh, so this is located on the Biwa Canal. I just want to say very quickly that I became interested in Yamagata Aritomo when I was doing research for a paper about the history of the Dojo-kun in uh, JKA-style Shotokan Karate. So um, I'm going to put a, a link to my paper, I think, in the description for this video. Uh, so look in the notes slash description of this video. And um, if you're interested in the history of Japan or the history of the samurai or the history of the Meiji period, I think that um, <laughs> this is Murenan is a very interesting place for you to visit. I'm also going to put some other links in the description, so please check them out. Apparently, Yamagata, in addition to being a politician and a practitioner of sojutsu, or the spear, um, was also an accomplished gardener, and he designed this whole garden himself. I don't know if it's going to come across in the video, but this place is really expansive. It's huge. All this stuff is behind that white wall that you saw in the previous video, the outside. Um, it smells great in here. It's beautiful. I'd say this is one of the nicest places in Kyoto that I've been to. So he designed all of this himself, which I think is really incredible. The house over there is beautiful too. I hope I can get a video of it. This is his tea house. According to William DeLang, Musashi Miyamoto was also uh, an accomplished landscape architect. Uh, maybe it's something about being good with martial arts and exercising control over nature. To be good at martial arts, you have to have a lot of control and maybe that control is, when, it, when it's really high quality and focused control, maybe it, uh, maybe it demonstrates itself in landscape design too. There's a tomb on the property. I don't know if that's his tomb or not. Um, it's, I don't see any inscriptions, so I'm kind of guessing maybe not. This place is really huge. It just keeps going and going. When you see it from the outside, you don't expect it, but it's, uh, it's really wonderful. He's combined mosses and grasses, so there's different styles of landscape here. He has things that you really associate with, well, as a Westerner, we associate with Japan, like the mosses and the pine trees. But then he's also got these, um, these grass areas. This is really a, a different kind of landscape. It's really beautiful. Much... I, I much prefer this to the gardens I saw in China, actually, even though they're supposed to be the origin of this style. The view from inside one of the main sitting rooms in the house 
So you can see this is what he saw from his home, and you can see how he's really utilized um, different layers. He's used the mountains, the Higashiyama Mountains in the background to frame the garden, and he's got the whole variety of trees here, and there's different elements in the foreground, the middle ground, and the background, and almost every place in the garden is like that. Everywhere you walk, where you, whenever you look, you see um, a different perspective, but always everything is framed nicely. And it's one thing to make sort of a two-dimensional view in a garden, but to really be able to design a garden in such a way that it's beautiful from every angle is, um, is quite something. So I think this is pretty ingenious. He has a, a waterfall, which um, the water comes down into a, a very wide expanse there. So it looks kind of like a lake or a pond, although it's so shallow that it, I don't really know if you could qualify it like that, but it looks like it. And then by manipulating the landscape, he's got, he makes the, the path of the water very thin. So here, the water, has a completely different character. So he's managed, with one water source, he's managed to create a system where when you walk around his garden, you can see different styles of water. You can see a shallow, calm pond. You can also see a rippling There's, creek. Yeah, God, it's very house. well thought out. And he has a western style house on the property. And he also has a Japanese style house. All quite Check out his Japanese house. Um, he's got a western style house, but it's quite small, so, and it has something in the bottom which looks like a vault. Um, I'll take a picture of it, it's weird, I wonder if it's a fortress. But the Japanese house is a little bigger, and uh, so I assume he, he lived in it. It's one of the nicest houses I've seen. And if you come here you can have a tea, which is apparently what these people are doing. Anyway, so this is Murden off. We go inside Aritomo's uh, Western style home, and you can see the room where the Murden on conference was held before the Russo Japanese War. Uh, I don't know if the light level in here is going to be good enough for video. I don't know if the video can capture this room, but this is quite an exquisite room. Um, I think maybe this room is the best example of combining Western architecture with Japanese decoration that I've seen. Um, maybe in the video it doesn't look so impressive, but wow, it's really something in person. The walls are covered in murals.